Hi, welcome one and all to Science Teaching Academy. This is Chandra Shekhar here to bore you with the topic cell division of cell biology. You may wonder or some may worry why this guy, this jumbo guy appearing before the board when we learn about cell division and covering the entire camera frame. But I promise you guys, before 23 years I was not this much big enough. I was just a micron size. Huh? in my mom's womb. I started my life as a single cell. It not only me, even you. And the food you ate in the morning of a vegetable, green vegetable, or even a pet dog. Everyone started your life as a single cell. That's the process. Every living organism in this universe start their life as a single cell. This is the law of life because we are all united by the term called cell. <coughs> Cell is the fundamental unit of life. The factor is that I started my life as a single zygote, both from my gametes from my mom and dad. But how that single zygote, a single cell, transform into a six trillion cells? Approximately, I am saying I have six trillion cells in my body now. As in a six trillion cells is a number of cells in an adult body, adult human body. So what makes it to do? The logic is very simple. The 6 trillion cells is divided by 1 by 1. It goes on to the 1 by 1 step. Cells divide in a pre-existing format. For example, this one cell is divided into two pre-existing cells, daughter cells. And generally biology will be as full of facts. And students find it difficult to understand. Even me too. But this lecture is going to be a different format. I am not going to say in the same format. One more thing friends, any time you have thought, we are very ca very much capable enough to say a 3 hour cinema story, but not a 30 minute lecture to anyone. The cinema story when you ask at any time or anywhere, you can say as it is without any change. So what is there? Actually our brain accepts only the terms which is able to understand by it. And similarly, if it is complex, our brain rejects it, so it can't retain the memory. So our kind of lectures from Science Teaching Academy, we will say in a different format, relate with the lifetime environment. Similarly, I am going to say the story of science cell division with the beautiful cinematic format of Indian love story. The story of two sisters, of two daughter cells, what happening in their climax. Friends, don't depend only on the story, listen to science too. Fine, that's our purpose. Okay, let's go on to the story. Every story has its flashback, right? Similarly, the flashback of mitosis is cell division, a cell cycle, the entire cell cycle. When you say of cell cycle, our story is for one hour and the flashback is for 23 hours. What do I mean is the whole cell cycle, the major important thing is mitosis. It's of one hour time. Approximately, I am saying of one hour time, the other phase called interface is of 23 hours for an approximation. I am saying okay, this one hour phase is called mitotic phase. So, mitotic phase and interface are the major classification of two cells, major classification of cell cycle. Even this interface is subdivided into three other phases called as G1 phase, S phase. Actually, there should be more because this phase is doing the actual purpose, serving the actual purpose. And the third is G2 phase. And the mitotic phase again divided into four major phases. Prophase, metaphase, Anaphase and telophase. I will write the spelling and it is specific things later we can see. So, the two things we should consider here. The one thing is inter in interface, the cell actually duplicates its genetic material. I will again say this concept in a simple analogy. If you want to shift to a new home, what you will do with an empty home? You want some furnitures and some materials and the blueprint or currency, right? You can't do anything with an empty cell, empty home. 
Similarly, the same logic is applied in cell, uh, among, applied among cells too. The cell, when divides itself, it needs its constituents to also to be with it, as like its mother cell. Similarly, when the sisters is going to divide into two daughter cells, they take all the organelles with them, a for equational thing. So only mitosis is called as equational division. The one more name of mitosis is called equational division. Because of this reason. Because of the reason that the DNA, the genetic material, the organelles in a single mother cell is taken as an equal half, not an equal half, as if a same ditto to its two daughter cells. So it's called as equational division. Okay. Now I'll explain what happens in the mitotic what happens in the interface before going into the mitotic phase. In G1 phase, particularly gap one, G stands for gap or growth phase. You can consider of any any time. Okay. G1 phase is make making the cell ready for uh, proteins, ready for synthesizing proteins and RNA required for DNA replication. Of these three phases, I said the major. I said before that the major thing to be considered is this S phase. S stands for synthetic synthesis. So synthesis of DNA. Being biologist, we are aware of DNA. Without that, nothing. That's a hereditary material which is carrying our genetic information from generation to generation. So that DNA is equally copied to entire cells that DNA should be synthesized in this S phase. So other two phases are supporting of it. So G1 phase synthesize proteins required for DNA replication. This DNA is replicated through replication. They will synthesize proteins and RNA for DNA replication. I think it looks clumsy for you. But anyhow, look into the content and observe what I am talking. It will be easy for you. We will go in a jolly way friends, no props. Then in G2 phase, after DNA have got replicated, one more important protein is required for cell division. And I said, this phase is also called as pre-synthetic phase. It's simple from its, it's simple from its action, the names are from its terms. If you understand the terms better, science is very simple for you. Similarly, the synthesis phase is synthetic phase and the G2 phase is also called as post-synthetic phase post synthetic phase or pre mitotic phase pre mitotic phase so i said spindle fiber an important protein required for mitotic division is generated in this phase called g2 phase that is spindle protein protein for spindle fiber then i will go to mitotic phase in a detail within a couple of minutes before that i will say about a checkpoint the checkpoint is in g1 unless the checkpoint is there there is no control so as a police checkpoint which controls the traffic in a city this checkpoint determines what the cell cycle is going to happen there are two fates for the cell cycle one fate is that the cell may go continue the cycle to uh, continuously divide, divide itself if not, the cell may enter to a new phase called as G0. This state is called as quiescent state. This quiescent state is the arresting of cells at a particular stage. So there is no further division. So with this concept, the cells have been divided into three types called as liable cells, stable cells, and third one is permanent. So liable cells is the cells which are often dividing themselves. For example, hematopoietic stem cells, our skin cells are keep on dividing themselves. And in the case of stable cells, this kind of stable cells is having a special property. It will be in arrested state, but whenever required, it will come back to that state. For example, in the stable states like Hepatocytes, liver cells, liver cells, and this uh, kidney cells, neuron, uh, nephron cells, hepatocytes and nephrons, which may 
get in a QSEN stage and arrested form it and whenever required it will come out over it. And the third state is permanent state cells which is getting arrested permanently. There is no more cell division. Those kind of cells are there in our heart. Our heart size is not going to differ right from your right from a particular stage. So after your birth, after some point of time, it stops its cell division and remains in the fist size of fist size to your entire life. So myocardial cells, which which is made constitutes of heart. So these are the three types of cells uh, classified based on this cell cycle. Okay, let us go the mitotic phase, the actual story. We finished our flashback, guys. Come on, wake up. We are going into the story of two sisters. Mitotic phase. It's for fun. It's not for hurting anyone. It's for your better understanding. We are know about the techniques called mnemonics, flashcards, everything. It's making our brain to remember the things quick. So I am following that technique with a story of relating science with some story, right? Okay. First, I said mitotic phase of majorly of four phases: prophase, metaphase, anaphase. And telophase. These are the four major phases. Apart from it, two other phase, two other phases also require called cytokinesis. And here, pre-metaphase occurs. Okay. Prophase. First of all, let us go to prophase. What happens in the prophase? The prophase is an actual normal cell living happily with this nucleolus and all other organelles. Imagine these organelles. These may be looking worse, but there are some organelles. Okay, fine. This is a normal cell. Okay, huh? fine. From the normal cell in the prophase stage, First of all, I will say the story. There are two sisters. I said the sisters are getting uh, started forming as a child. They are born as a child. They started condensing. After they start condensing, they are bounded by a bond called love, affection. Okay. So, two sisters. Okay, fine of uh, name Rani and Sony. Uh, they are living happily together but connected by a bond called centrosome. Sorry, centromere. So, I said no, this two, it will confusing for yourself. I said two sisters, Rani and Sony. They are joined together by, they are called sister chromatids. Okay, fine. These sister chromatids are connected by centromere. Okay, so when these chromatids, sister chromatids are attached together by centromere, one more two guys also form a boys of different family. They are called spindle fibers. And totally it is called as centrosome. Centrosome. This centrosome appeared in the interface itself they have formed an interface and they started assembling at the end at the two different poles at the opposite poles and they are getting ready to grab these girls we will come to that story later okay this is what the situation happened in the prophase now you know the difference between what happens in prophase from normal cell so i'll sum up again the prophase state centrosomes <coughs> crystal chromatis started to chromatin started to condense and sister chromatins started to attach together by centromere okay fine then spindle fibers are attracted to the opposite poles okay now i go to the next state called pre metaphase what happens in the pre metaphase in the pre metaphase 
this nucleolus started disappearing now the sisters are happy inside and as usual two guys they are here okay fine uh, they are called as centrosomes and two sisters i said now thing what happens and un un until you are in a home you are in a safe place but the boundary is broken the boundary is there you are conserved and you are safe when the boundary is broken you are free and have to do whatever you want same thing happened to these girls so when the boundary is broke that is nuclear membrane dissolved in this layer however nuclear membrane are being dissolved there is a molecular point of here for example lemonin a protein called lemonin and get phosphor later this nuclear membrane got dissolved we can see briefly about it in our molecular biology lecture series okay and after that one more point occurs here the spindle fibers from the centrosomes started attaching towards this girls means this centrosomes chromatids imagine like this centro like this chromosomes sister chromatids the entire thing is there a huge number like a uh, like kind of things are there okay this what happened in pre metaphase again i will just say the centros in the nuclear membrane got dissolved and after that the spindle fibers from centrosome attached to the centromere of sister chromatids that's all now pre metaphase over okay then we are moving into metaphase stage in metaphase what happens the sister chromatids metaphase one more short time i'll say meet together meet meta what happens due to this pressure by the spindle fibers that is these two, two boys the sisters fall in love and they fall in the same state what all the youth falling now that same e state is called equational state sorry equatorial state sorry uh, so thanks for correction that is equatorial state same stage and the plate which is formed here is called as metaphase plate so you can say remember this term called meet meet means they are in the same state meet these all due to the pressure these all attached to spindle spindle fibers through centrosomes remember that also okay fine okay this what happens in metaphase stage then we also have anaphase state and telophase state and cytokinesis we will see about these two three states in the upcoming lectures thank you thanks for joining see that too Thank you.